In today's video, we'll look at tips for using QGIS's Print Composer. We'll look at the Print Composer window and what toolbars you should use, adding your map, getting the right extent and size maps, and adding titles and labels. So this is the map that we'll look at in Print Composer. It's 2012 presidential election results by county. In this case, the symbols represent the margin of victory for the candidate that won the county. Blue circles are counties in which Obama won and had most votes, and red circles are for counties in which Romney had the most votes. So we'll head up to the project menu bar and select new print composer. Um, it's always important to type in a name for your project. That way you can go back and make changes later. So after clicking OK, here's the print composer. I'll just maximize the window. Um, and you'll notice there is no map yet on the canvas. To add elements to the map, you can use a, a series of toolbars at the top, whether it's adding a map, an image, a text including title, legend, scale bar, or arrow. So now I'll click the Add Map button at the top, left-click the mouse, drag a box out, and your map will be added. Um, but you'll notice uh, a problem with the map at the top. You'll notice that the the top parts of the map are cut off. So we'll go down and we'll hit um, the set map to uh, extent button. And now you'll see your whole map there. Um, but the map has gotten a little bit small, so we'll change the scale. So the map uh, is a little bit larger to fill up more of the canvas. So now let's go add a title. It's important to note that all of the buttons, in order for you to add a map or add text, I'll have a little green plus sign. Um, it's very tempting to double click here and try to enter, but you actually have to enter the text over in this box here. So we'll go ahead and give our map a title. Just to reiterate, we're looking at presidential election results for 2012, the margin of win by candidate and by county. We'll go ahead and finish the title here real quick. And then we'll go to the font button below, which is where you can change all the font settings. In this case, we'll make it a little bit bigger Whoops, it's probably a little bit too big. Um, we'll sort of stretch it out to see. Um, so we'll go back and make the text a little bit smaller. Now the title fits. Next, we'll add a legend. There is an add legend button, but in this case, we're actually gonna use just the add image button for a custom legend. Um, because there's a lot of categories for this type of legend, it just works out better um, just to sort of take a quick uh, screenshot. And there's our legend below. We'll go ahead up to the Composer uh, menu at the top, and we'll save our project. Um, it's also important to know that there is a Composer Manager, um, so that you can actually save different templates and different projects um, that you can go back and access, and you can output as image, PDF, or an SVG. For lots of cool maps made using QGIS's Print Composer, head over to the QGIS Map Showcase Flip Flickr group. You also see this map there, as well as many others. The authors of each map will also tell you how these wonderful maps were made and what specific features were used in QGIS. So be sure to check all these really cool maps. So next time we'll take a look at how to create side-by-side -side maps of equal size. Um, one of the best examples of this is using different bands in remote sensing. We'll also look at creating an atlas or map book. And let me know in the comments section what else you'd like to see. As always, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe or like the video, and be sure to look in the comment section below for links to important resources.